There is an island in the North Atlantic Ocean where people have been searching for an incredible treasure for over 200 years. So far, they've found a stone slab with strange symbols carved into it. Man-made workings that date back to medieval times and a lead cross whose origin may be connected to the Knights Templar. To date, six men have died trying to solve the mystery. And according to legend, one more will have to die before the treasure can be found. Hey, my name is Koyan Mall. I'm a researcher for the Curse of Oak Island. Uh, thank you for submitting your questions online, and I'll do my best to answer them properly. So here we go. Um, what are the Lagina brothers like in real life? Well, they're exactly like you see them on television. You know, they're cordial, they're polite, they're great guys, they're professional. And you won't be surprised that after 10 years of Curse of Oak Island, I tell you, they are very patient. Do you believe that the Oak Island curse is real? Um, I don't. I do believe that many people had really bad luck looking for treasure on Oak Island. Do you feel that the team is getting closer to solving the mystery? I think we are. I mean, you know, we know more about the history of the island than anyone ever before us. Um, and we've, we've dug up an enormous amount of puzzle pieces. So now it's all about assembling those and then seeing, you know, looking at, at the picture in front of us. Who keeps the team motivated during tough days on the island? <laughs> this was one of my favorite questions, you know. There's no need to keep anyone motivated. These are professional treasure hunters. You know, it's probably harder to get people off the island than to keep them on there. It's absolutely fantastic. What makes Oak Island such a great location to hide treasure in? Well, contrary to popular belief, Oak Island was easy to find on a ship. You know, if you approach the coast of Nova Scotia, the first thing you'll see is what is called Aspatogan Hill, which is, you know, the highest point on the entire shoreline. And, you know, to, to, to stipulate this, in 1768, a captain named Montresor, <laughs> what's in the name? You know, Montresor means my treasure in French. This captain made a map, and on the map, uh, where it says Aspatogan Hill, he marked, remarkable can be seen from a great distance. That's how easy it was, Oak Island at a very big front door. That is why. Could there be a secret society out there that knows the exact location of the treasure? Uh, well, if there is, <laughs> I do know that they didn't approach us in the last 10 years to tell us where the treasure is. I wish they had. Do you have any funny stories that you can share about the island or filming? Um, well, what I can tell you is this. The most valuable thing on Oak Island is bug spray. If you get out on the island without your bug spray, without your can of bug spray, you will be literally eaten alive by the mosquitoes. Nasty. Another thing, you know, Oak Island is inhabited by, by you know, small pocket-sized squirrels, and they will eat your lunch if you're not careful. They're vicious. Do you believe that the Holy Grail could be on Oak Island? Um, now, that would imply that I know what the Grail is, which I think I don't. Um, what I do know, what I do think, what I do believe is that something of great value was taken from Europe to North America way before Columbus crossed the Atlantic. Um, that thing, whatever it was, that something was worth risking your life over um which is sort of holy over the past three years okay let's see what we can find Corey and mall has shared research and acted as a guide overseas for the team revealing a number of possible connections between the oak island mystery and the knights templar a christian military order that some believe 
its sacred religious treasures in the money pit sometime between the 11th and 16th centuries. Yeah, look at this. Right there, it's perfect. Yep. Some of Corian's most compelling revelations were made one year ago in Portugal, when he showed the team numerous stone carvings at 12th century Templar strongholds, such as the church of Fontarcada, that were exact matches to ones that have been found on Oak Island. The circle and the dot in the center of the cross, that's one of our symbols on the HO stone. This, to me, screams Knight Templar. What are we not getting to see? What you're not getting to see is the hours and hours and hours and more hours of filing, archiving, validating, discussing, examining, researching of all these items and all this stuff that we find on the island. It's really a very, very big operation. You get the picture. Does the team get excited when a discovery is made? Oh, yes. You know, after all this time, every time something is found, there's a noticeable buzz on the island. Um, you know, everything we find could be this one item, this one clue that blows the whole thing wide open. So we're always excited. The trip I took to England fits in with Corian Mull's theory about the Duke Danville. And so is it possible that that explains the deposit of treasure on Oak Island? Yes, it's possible. I enjoyed the presentation a Absolutely. lot. There's a wonderful story here, and I urge you to continue the investigation. And to that end, thank you very much. It's been an incredible afternoon. Thank you. Take care. So, Gorian, the French sent two rather large ships full of men. What officially did they accomplish? According to the records, nothing. 